Today, I will show you how to make dank meme remixes using FL Studio and Z Game Editor Visualizer. Let's begin. Prime Tendo. Step one, we need to find something cancerous on Twitter. Well, it shouldn't take long. This looks cancerous enough. Uh-oh. What is this about? Stop that count! Stop that count! Stop that count! You lost! Stop. I think that will do. So the next thing you need to do, of course, we, we need to rip this down. How we're gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna make sure that I uh, copy the actual address of this link. And then I'm gonna go to Google, type in Twitter video downloader. Uh, Twitter downloader, boom. Right here, video downloader. Go right here, paste the link, and then hit download. Go on, right click, download, boom. We're gonna name this Stop That Count, and here we are, it's downloaded. The next thing you're gonna do is just pull up Google again and just uh, type in MP4 to WAV. But <laughs> do that. <laughs> Only the real ones will know why I call this WAV. So I'm gonna select a file. It's on my desktop here. Got that count. And I can choose whatever from Cloud Convert. Convert. Then you need to save it. So I'm gonna save it on the desktop too. The next step is pretty obvious. Open up FL Studio. I mean, duh. Now that FL Studio is open, let's open up SliceX. Damn, I got a lot of plugins. Like sex is open. Make sure you turn off auto dump too because it's a pain in the ass to have stuff dumped in there and chopped up for you. Just click on anything, just left click anything and it'll pull up where you can open up your WAV file. And there you go. It's still chopped stuff. Uh, yo, image line, could you please make it to where it doesn't do this dumb shit? All right, so what I'm gonna do is go in here to the marker and I'm gonna choose uh, delete, or it deletes all the markers, thank God. But either way, let's begin. So, you know, you just have to play with it and make sure that you can get the chops that you want. So let's add the markers. Keep on going here, add a marker. Stop that. Gonna have one right here. Stop that now. Stop that now. <laughs> Another marker. And drag it over, add another marker. Also, it goes without saying that you can just press M and it will bring in a marker. You lost! <laughs> Here's an important tip. You can go over here to run, then regions, then play to end. And it's supposed to allow the chops to run to the very end here. Now let's get our Z game on. We're gonna go up here, access our mixer. Go up here, add a slot, Z game editor. If I can find it through all this stuff, boom, go. Open up, add content, open up, go to video, add that in there. I'm gonna go to my desktop, because it's on my desktop. Stop the count, boom. Go to main, image, image effects, go to image, boom. And then just select it, stop the count. And there it is. Let's go back to add content, go to video cue points. Once you have decided everything has been chopped correctly, that's when you're gonna make this move right here. So grab slice X, move this over, and then drag and drop the cue points over and you'll see the chops in, in here. Here's something that the idiots at Image Line didn't make clear in their tutorial, which sets mine apart from theirs. Go over here, you will have to highlight a channel, select it, you can either insert, let's go for insert here, and get a MIDI out. And then you need to get a layer. So let's go ahead and grab a layer channel. Boom. So you have to make those layer channels all the same. So I'm gonna get a port here, change that port to port three, and then I'm gonna go over here to a MIDI port and set that up to port three as well. So let me fix that real quick. Port three, port three. Now you gotta link all these layers together. So let's link that together using the layers here. Set children, boom. So right click, don't know what you Apple heads are gonna do. Feel bad, set children. Uh, now the children are set. 
now I can chop things up here on the keyboard here. Uh, one thing I did realize is sometimes when you drag and drop stuff in here, it won't have the right number of chops. So make sure that you have the right number of chops. You, have, you might have to try this a few times. Yeah, that's that image line bullshit I be talking about. Again, check the layer, make sure that the layer is correct. Uh, just go over here once you add that layer and say show to children and it'll show the children and then, you know, everything should be okay. So let's go ahead there, show children, go back to the layer and test out all your chops. So here are some important tips when you are exporting your video. If you're doing something for IG or TikTok, make sure that you have the aspect ratio set to four five or four three or something like that. You can see that it changed right over here and it will be formatted better that way. And also another thing that most people ask me because they find issue with this, like they don't get any audio with their Z game editor visualizer videos. Make sure it is on the master. Make sure it's on your master bus. So if it's on like your insert one or any of these inserts, then it will not have all of the audio. So make sure that it's on the master before you export. So exporting, export video, and then you will select a appropriate one, either TikTok or IG, or if you're gonna print it out on YouTube, but I'm gonna do this for IG, so I'm gonna print this out here. So you can name the video up here. So you would just type it in and just hit okay. And then just choose background render or mess with some of your exporting features. I just keep it the same as when I make a beat or something like that. So let's hear it. Hey. You So tell me how you feel about this video. Did it trigger you a little bit? Are you upset? Either way, it's all jokes and all that stuff. And if you have any more requests, let me know. But this is definitely better than posting you holding your phone in your hand or just one picture going like this. <laughs>